Hi, so welcome to the Sean Linton Talk Show. I'm your host, Dr. Linton. I pop on here to do a quick video on a topic called a topic called sex and sexuality. Now, you know, throughout the world, this is a question that goes throughout generations. As a matter of fact, as long as we have humans. We will always have this question because it's a human, it is a question that affiliated and actually um, ascribed to human beings. Now, sex, you know, sex according to the Bible. Now, if you're coming from a biblical and a theological perspective, we have to come from where the Bible says. Bible said that before one is married, you ought to, before you have sex, then you ought to marry. It's a biblical principle that has never broke throughout the Holy Book. And it is sacred. We understand that sex is a sacred thing. Sex is not like the animal, you know, animals. It is a sacred thing. In some, in the Jewish religion, you know, they still practice, you know, they, they got to make sure that you're a virgin. So they still put that little cloth, it's a linen cloth, beneath um, the wife. And you know, when they, when, when they, when they aim and burst in a woman, then it bleeds. So um, it will go in the cloth. And then the husband will take it out, you know, when they're married, then they will surround the door, the outside. The, the husband and wife will be inside and they will be outside. And when they, the husband finishes, then he will take it out and show them. So if she's not a virgin and he loves her, then he will cut himself or do something to put some blood in. But it has to be certified that, is, that she, when she got married, that she is a virgin. You, you know, and that is a Jewish practice that the husband and wife have to secure the girl's virginity to marry. So it is in it's in the religion, it is in some cultures and it's also, but it's a biblical principle. In the church as Christian, um, it is, the teachings is you ought to be married first. That is a teaching. You must be married. So, we don't go above that. If we're teaching it, we've got to say what it says. And don't find scripture to justify it. Whether your action proof otherwise or not. That's what you're, you are saying, what the Bible says. Or the Holy Book. Or the Word says. That's what it says. Um, according to sexuality, people from different countries, different tribe, different, you know, they've got different um, take on it, but... If I again should go in a biblical principle, the Bible doesn't say a man and a woman. That's what the Bible says. So the Bible said that when he made Adam, then he made Eve. And then they were made and they were meant to uh, multiply. That is the scripture according to the Bible. But we are living into a time that I don't necessarily believe that it is, um, I don't know, I've got to say this carefully, or let me think what I'm saying, is that um, people's choice in life, you know, as I said, um, education has got a lot to do with it. Understanding what the word of God said, understanding what the law of the country said, understanding what your principles are you know what i'm saying understanding that so uh, um, i mean people's choice in life should not if okay if you come to me and you don't choose what the bible says and i said well according to the bible i'm not going to judge you i'm not going to condemn you i love everybody i love everybody as long as you're a human being as i love everybody but as i said if i if you're going to ask me about biblical principle, that's what it is. 
It's like, it's like you've been invited at Buckingham Palace. You don't just get up there and go, you've got to find out what is the event about? How do I dress? What is my dress code? You know, so you've got to prepare for it. If you're going to have a meeting, if I'm going to have a meeting with the Prime Minister, I'm not just going to get up and just go. No, I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to do my research. I'm going to do my writings, my typing. I'm going to take somebody with me. I'm going to make sure that what I present to the Prime Minister does not waste her time. She's the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and she ain't got time for me to bring rubbish to her, you see. So, so then if I'm going to the court of law, I'm going to dress to fit in. They said no short, I don't care how hot it is, you need to wear a suit. You have to wear a suit, otherwise you'll be put into prison. You're at the court of law. So then what we are saying now, intelligently, you know, because if you don't understand the word, then you're not able to articulate it to do, to do not disrespect people. The reason why people somehow are weary of Christians, it is a lot of time how, it's not so much what is in the Bible, it's so much for how it has been presented to people. So Christians have got a job also to make sure that we present the word, <clears throat> excuse me, without compromising, but the truth without disrespecting and judging and condemning people at the very same time. So this is why education is important. Because when you are educated, then you're able to articulate the word in an intellectual way without taking the truth away from it but giving it straight as it is and your action is love love with the word love before the word and love after the word is only the word love so then we do not judge anybody it's not our place to condemn people. It's not our place to put people um, in a box and label people. You know, it's never been our position. We do not label. It is God's business. Our job is to love. Our job is to love people. Our job is to treat people well. Our job is to respect people. Our job is to make sure that we are accountable and we are responsible for what comes out of our mouth about people, to people. So I'm saying this to say that that is what the word says. That does not mean that people are not going to fall short. In other words, People do have children out of wedlock. They're Christians. Oh yeah, they do. I know tons. I was born in the church. People do marry and divorce. And you understand that that is, you know. People do remarry again, even though we have a, a big, con a great controversy in the church where remarry is concerned. People do have sexuality issues. Or identity issue we do even though we know what the Bible says now our teachings are our teaching the teaching of the word the foundation the base of it has got to be love must be love we are illuminating some of us will get there before others. But as long as we know the foundation, as I said to you before, if I'm a liar and I know the Bible said not to lie, confess that the Bible said not to lie. You, you, the only wrong you do is when you try to cover up and try to make another scripture to match the word. But we will fall short. 
The Bible said no sex before marriage. You may have sex. and Well, a lot of you have sex. And if you're watching this video and you're a Christian, you probably just have sex. Or you're about to have sex. Or it's in your mind. Or you masturbate or do something. But the Bible said that you should marry first. These are principles. These are laws instituted for, the, for this kingdom. And we can't change it. But I, what I'm saying is that people do go the other way. People do go opposite to what God says. But it's not our job. I'm not going to sit here in this video and waste people time on YouTube and people that, are, that is in ministry to pretend that oh I've got it all well together praise God they ain't got time for that rubbish I'm saying to you that our job is to pray for each other you don't spend time laughing at people mocking people jeering people laughing at people belly laugh ha <laughs> Yeah, no, you don't do that. If you think somebody, because there's something that you are lack in also. Oh yes, I can call them out. Maybe a bag, but this person just have got one. But whatever you think that person is lack on, you pray for that person, and that person will pray for you with your bag of destruction, and that's how we become a better place. Leave people business alone. Leave people life alone. Pray for everybody. Let people do what they what, what until they come out. Our job is just to love people and pray for people. But we know we do not get rid of the truth. We know there is a standard. We know there is a truth. We know what the word said. And that's what we stand by. But not because you know you're automatically going to, going to get everybody. I've got different stage and different level and different. So I'm saying for the world, for the church. Together, we stand up on the banner of truth where God is concerned for everybody. We want to see you love white, black, polka dot, red, gray, straight, lesbian, everybody. But still stand for the truth. But you love because it's God who does the job. And when they see love, they will turn around. Let us be honest and know that I ain't got it all together. So I ain't going to judge you. I just want to speak to anybody watching this video. Whatever struggle you have, I just want to let you know. Don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. Don't give, give up. God is your judge. Ain't over till it's over. Till God said it's over. Now I'm here to tell you that it ain't over. If you are dear, if you dare to get up and give it one more blow, if you dare to give it one more push, you get there. One more push. One more push. Don't ever let man, human, another human, judge you. Don't be ashamed of your game. Don't be ashamed of it. Don't be ashamed of it. Stand up tall. Put your shoulders back and tell God everything. Let us listen to people's story. Write a book. Sing a song. Don't be arrogant about it. Don't be proud. Ah, but let us put it in respect and love and context and present it as your story. Don't ever be judged. Don't ever be condemned. Don't ever bury yourself. Don't ever jump go over the cliff or go under. Remember, you're precious. You're important. You are the apple of God's eye. You are a light. We need you. Whatever your problem, shine. I'm praying for you and you're praying for me. We ain't going to judge. We leave that to God. We haven't got time for time wasters. 
and for hateful, mean people. Stand with the truth. I love you. God loves you first. And together, as a force, we move in.